Good evening, this is Kuro. Got a tier 10 cruiser replay in my Hindenburg. Taking a look at the matchmaking, got Yamato, Missouri, Izumo, North Carolina rounding out the battleship threats. Everything else kind of doesn't really matter for Hindenburg. Um, Hindenburg, your job is two things. Um, your primary function for your team is damage and you're also tanky as hell so you can just harass and, and tie up flanks and just basically make the enemy spend a, a huge amount of time trying to deal with you uh, while the entire time you're just farming the hell out of the enemy and it, it works really well. Hindenburg's been a, a really popular competitive ship for a long time since basically her outset. So right here my plan is anytime you can deal damage from concealment in a cruiser it's something that you should really consider. So my plan is I'm gonna come up in here and I'm going to see where the enemy's going. My DDs are gonna spot um, where I want to be is I want to be somewhere in here so if my DDs get rushed I've got shots in and across the cap to help them out. Now I'll be honest this is my first Hindenburg game in probably at least six months so I'm gonna be a little rusty with the guns. Um, you know I could I if I be been up to speed I could have really turned this into a, a really nice game. But coming up here, looks like Yamato is uh, going to be pushing in this direction. That usually means another battleship's going to be with him. And so I'm starting to, instead of pushing up in here, I'm starting to uh, get ready to turn out and, and get ready to kite. Um, enemy gearing pops up enemy DDs obviously are uh, your number one target so first shot was just slow or just uh, just behind this DD for some reasons deciding he's gonna slow down <coughs> so I'm watching him for a minute see where he's going and if you notice I had switched to AP little trick with the the German cruisers uh, particularly on thicker uh, destroyers you can do some stupid damage that was a 6k volley on a gearing that you know it doesn't have a lot of health um, AP works really good on like Kabas and things like that so just something to, to think about that uh, sometimes AP is uh, the better choice for shooting DDs um, depending on what they are and if you've got enough side for the AP to actually penetrate now up here this is Hindenburg happy land um, got battleships in front of me got island uh, cover and concealment and I'm just angled away if this enemy Cleveland wants to try to rush me what's he gonna do I mean I've got torps um, you know he's gonna have a hard time dealing with me if he if he tries to poke so I'm just staying angled in case I get radar or hydroed or something like that and you know just farming this Yamato not a care in the world uh, I do uh, reverse back into this uh, Cleveland one to keep him hydro spotted just so I got an idea where he is and two if I do get spotted it makes me a harder target for these battleships back here now a, a little advanced tactic if you watch me when I'm shooting this battleship you're gonna watch me ripple fire as um, 
Like that that salvo, I just want to hit the uh, the back of the ship. That was the only part that wasn't on fire. But now that he is not on fire, that little ripple fire. What I'm doing is I'm trying to hit multiple parts of the ship with the volley. And by doing that, I, I'm also increasing my my chances where more than I'll, I'll have more than one fire in that volley because obviously you can only light a, a section of the ship on fire once so you sometimes it's more beneficial to hit multiple areas of the ship <coughs> so coming up here um, the Amato pushed into the island which he should have did this a while ago uh, to save his HP, he's his repair is on cooldown. His heals probably on cooldown. Uh, he's basically been just just abused this game. Uh, I'm starting to come out far enough. This Cleveland's gonna be able to have shots on me. Um, I think this Cleveland's angled enough that my AP won't really work doesn't really matter Hindenburg HE is absolutely disgusting um, so I'm just working this Cleveland over at this point Yamato gets uh, a good pen on me thing with Hindenburg is with your your turtle back armor you don't really suffer a lot of a lot of citadel damage um, so you just, you know, focus on staying angled, you know, use your heals when y you can actually get the full amount for your heals, and just keep your guns in, in the fight, I mean, at that point with the Zao popping up, mm, it's not really in my best interest to, you know, keep fighting these 2v1 I'm not getting a lot of support from this Montana I don't see much in the way of, of fire coming in I don't know what the hell's going on but you know I want to back off get a chance to heal up um, that kind of thing unfortunately Zao HE is it's very punishing so you know, I, I took more damage than I intended disengaging there, but, <clears throat> you know, it happens occasionally. Um, but what I'm going to do, since I'm, I'm dropped off, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, open up and start shooting. I'm just going to use my heals, trying to get my uh, Montana to push up. Uh, reason being, we've got a low HP... Yamato in front of us pretty low HP Cleveland if this is how wants to play out here on the one two line we just take a right for right from him and not much he can do about it um, with my repairs I mean I'm gonna be in fighting shape pretty sh in pretty short order so I don't want my Montana to get focused down so I'm opening up on this Zao as a cruiser player one of the things that you want to want to watch for is you know when you're fighting more than one ship at, at a at a time so 2v1 3v1 you know so on you never want to fight those your your dpm no matter how good you are uh, you're not you're not likely to win those fights so instead you know, work on trying to maximize your 2v1s or, or your odds of taking multiple ships on at once. This is how he's picking a fight with me in this Montana. And, he, you know, he's starting to pay a price. It took me, a, you know, a couple volleys to get this guy dialed in. And even, even now with uh, how he's moving, you can start to see how rusty I am got this Azumo pushing up and you know that's something that 
our team has to punish. You can't you can't just let a battleship waltz right up uh, the middle of uh, the map. You're you're gonna have some major issues if you do that. And I just keep pushing up. Uh, I've got this Cleveland that had been sitting there shooting AP at me, and by moving up up in here, he can't really shoot me. So I'm you know back I've restricted the number of guns that can shoot me currently to one this Des Moines pushing in he's eventually gonna start being a problem um, but really we need to get rid of this Azumo for the team and you know now that I'm on cap they're gonna start focusing me down unfortunately my Montana just doing battleship things I mean at this point, he's he's pretty le pretty much left me to die. Um, not much I can do about it. Um, but I'm just going to to stay angled, and you're going to start to see how just how tanky this ship really is. I was trying to get lucky there, see if that Des Moines wasn't paying attention, catch him with some AP. Didn't really work out, so we're going to go on ahead and we're going to focus on. Uh, on uh, HE. Now, right here, I, I can't use my front gun or my back guns on, on Des Moines. As soon as I do, he'll switch to AP and it's a trip to Citadel City if the guy's, you know, even remotely, you know, switched on as a Des Moines player. Um, so I'm, I'm just kind of stuck here. I, I can't really push in, uh, because this Cleveland, he, he'd have my broadside. I'd be in a crossfire. I know I'm going to die here. Nothing I can do about it. Just trying to keep as much, uh, basically do as much as I can with, you know, keeping the, uh, the cap contested, keeping, uh, you know the damage going on there there Des Moines you know got a last minute fire on him um, I still think that if this Montana would have pushed with me we would have had a uh, rather handily he wouldn't have sat there and gotten farmed by uh, by that Zhao and you know I would have had a little more a little more help with uh, that Des Moines but you know random battles cruisers they're not they're not like destroyers where destroyers have an easier time disengaging um, you know it's not always not always the case with a cruiser particularly something as visible as a Hindenburg But basically, my team has cleared out DCAP. They've re-secured C. And, you know, this is starting to look like it's in the bag. Um, But yeah, just well, my team's uh, finishing this thing off, just give you a recap of uh, kind of the ideas I had as I was going through the, the game. Um, didn't really have the opportunities to rely on, um, you know, smokes or, you know, that kind of thing. So just going to use cover here, try to make sure my destroyers couldn't get rushed by uh, a DD eventually one did you know poke through there and you know we got a good chunk off him um, and then it's it's just punishing the enemy however you can uh, preferably where you're you're impossible to hit if you're impossible to hit you know you're you're getting the maximum damage trades 
um, you know, every with every volley that you've got, you're you're taking nothing. Well, you're you're chunking the enemy down, you know, over and over again. And that's, you know, the mo for Hindenburgs and Zows and <clears throat> um, Henry is another ship that plays like that. Uh, they're all just I I just call them damage dealing cruisers. You've got you know, uh, uh, map control cruisers like Des Moines, um, Moskva, ships that have radar that you can control caps or, or strategic points or um, make plays like radar people through islands, stuff like that, so your team can, can shoot them on the other side. All sorts of you know tricks you can play with those but those ships tend to average less damage but have a higher win rate because of your ability to influence the battle with with usually its radar um, <clears throat> while the the damage dealing ships you'll usually have much higher uh, average damage but uh... A lower win rate because basically for you to make an impact on the game in some of these cruisers if if you're not able to score a bunch of citadels in a hurry it's he and fires and just you need a long time to basically make that that big you know I carried this game impact on uh, on the enemy so rounding out the uh, the battle team finally won this one uh, again this this wasn't anything fancy for this game um, you know Hindenburg is is capable of a ridiculous amount of damage uh, this was a good game 149k uh, no kills that's sometimes just the way it goes uh, basically 5k away from uh, a witherer and fire damage um, but you can just see how that, that HE just kind of chewed through everything, uh, with the, the quarter pin HE that Hindenburg and the other German cruisers have. Um, they're just solid ships these days. I mean, uh, Konigsberg and Nuremberg, they're both squishy. York has just always been kind of a, an oddball in the line. Um, but Hipper, Rune... I, I really loved those ships. They were uh, they were solid performers, and they didn't have the quarter pin HE back when I played them. The other way to, to play this ship is to position uh, at a crossfire angle from your battleships. Your battleships go one way, you go another, and those games you're just working on your AP. Everybody that's angling towards your battleships... You're just slamming it right, your AP right into their broadside over and over and over again. And, you know, it's, it's, it's mind bending how much damage you can do in a hurry with these ships uh, when you get positions like that. So just kind of two different ways of thinking when you're positioning a German cruiser. You know, one, can I do damage from concealment? At that point, it doesn't really matter if, you know, you've got, you know, broadside angles or not, because you have HE that'll pin just about anything. And the flip side to that is, um, if you're able to get, position yourself so you get broadside shots, you can just use that AP and you just have ridiculous... Uh, AP DPM and just I mean you just tear into things so this is a quick video on Hindenburg going over some of the positioning uh, one thing to note 1.4 million potential damage uh, with tanking another 79k before I was actually dead and I almost actually got another heal off this could easily uh, went on quite a while if I would have been able to get another heal off um, so just kind of demonstrates just how tanky this ship is it's 
you know it's it's not easy to deal with these things if if you're you if you stay angled and you know how to handle your repairs handle your manage your hp um they're just solid ships so i hope you guys enjoyed the game i will uh be getting more cruiser games up in a, a little bit um uh, tonight's probably a wash because i've been doing clan battles all night uh with cuter but i will uh get you some more in the future so hope you guys have a good night i will talk to you later